For this exercise, we're going to develop a new class, a class that keeps track of the date. There is a built-in data type for doing that in C-sharp, but I just want to give a little more practice working with classes, and this is an easy one to create. So let's get started. We begin by declaring the class, class date, in an open curly brace. Our data members are month, day, and year, and they're all integers, so we declare them as int. So first we're going to declare our constructor with three parameters for month, day, and year also. And again, we're not going to worry about data validation in this exercise. Later on in the course, we will pay more attention to that. But right now, the idea is just to get you comfortable with creating classes and their components, and not so much with all the technical intricacies of implementing them. So there's our constructor. Now let's write a toString method. So we're going to return the month, plus the slash, plus the day, plus the slash, plus the year, just to return it in standard month, day, year format that we're used to. All right, so then after that, the next step would be to create gets and sets or property methods. And rather than implement both, we're going to just work with properties. So we'll start off with public int month. So we return the month here. And then for the set, we're going to write month equals value. So now we'll do the same thing for day. Return day. And then for the set, day equals value. Close off the definition. And then public int year get year equals value. There we go. And that's it. So those are our three property methods. At this point, that's probably enough. So let's just go ahead and test the class and make sure that it works. So we'll come down to our main program and we'll write date today equals new date, like so. Then we'll first test the two string method. Today is plus today dot to string should return the current date. Let's say the month and the day. And then let's write out today again. So before we run it, let's review what we did. We created a class to store the date. Our data members are month, day, and year, all three integers. We created a constructor that takes three arguments, a month, a day, and a year, and we assign those to the appropriate data members. We wrote a two-string method that returns the month, the day, and the year as a string in month, day, year format. Then we created properties for month, day, and year so that we can set and retrieve those dates. So let's do one more printing of the date using the property methods just to make sure that they work correctly. Remember we do that so we can freeze the screen open to look at our output. And there we go. So that wraps up this chapter on our introductory look at classes and objects. There's quite a bit more to say about it and we'll get to it later in the course. Now we got to fill in some blanks between data types and variables and much more in-depth object-oriented programming. And we'll start that out in the next chapter by talking about how to perform arithmetic in C-sharp.